Hello and welcome to my latest video. This one is what's new in Notebook 16.1. The first thing you're going to notice when you open Notebook 16.1 is up here in the toolbar and over here on the side. You notice that the buttons have changed up a little bit. The icons look a little different. Same functionality, just uh, they just look a little different. But you're also going to notice on the side and up here up top the response button is gone. The reason for that is uh, Notebook now has response 2. Um, it was beta in 16, but now it's part of 16.1. Uh, since the beta, there's also been the ability to go down to two answer choices for the multiple choice, um, and then also to do opinion-based uh, text short answers. Also, uh, some new feedback uh, with pie charts and uh, some other easier export features to Excel um, when you're done with the quizzes. The other new parts of 16.1 are two new themes in lab. So our first new theme here is basketball. And this will show you what this does when you complete the activity. So we go ahead and we do our rank order, check our answers, and we got a little basketball action there. Um, so that's basketball. But another cool new theme here is pirates. So what we have here is we're just going to go ahead and do this activity so you can see what happens with the animations and there's some new sounds to go along with it. Let me go and ships go away. Um, so those are the two new themes, but another very cool feature with 16.1 in lab is the ability to share out your lab activities to your class, uh, the students in your class. So if your student has a device um, with an internet connection, they will be able to get these activities. So it's no longer just doing the activity at the board in the front of the room. You know, all of our students can do it at their desks. So what we can do here is just like if we're using Shout It Out, um, over here to the right we have our activities, the get our activities started. So I've already got two students logged in or two devices logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and start this for my students. And what's going to happen is I come over here to my browser. So I'm over here in Chrome and I have the activity. So it works just the same. But I'm actually doing it at my device. So if you have Chromebooks and things of that nature, um, the students can actually go ahead and do them at their desk, which is a very cool thing. And the last new feature of Notebook 16.1 is probably my favorite new feature. I love this feature in Notebook now, is a new lab activity called Monster Quiz. So just like if you're doing Speed It Up, you, you build the quiz, you enter in some questions um, before you get started. So I've already loaded, preloaded three questions. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this quiz. So I go ahead and hit Start. And you'll notice I have two people logged in to this quiz. Um, I got Mike and Bob, and so you'd see all your students here, and they come in just like any of the other activities, classlab.com. Um, and the nice, another thing of 16.1 is now you'll have single sign-on with Microsoft and Google. So your activity code actually doesn't change, so it's a lot easier to get in, um, have students move between lab activities and response to uh, assessments, things of that nature. So in this case, once all my students are logged or into the activity, I'm going to divide into teams. So in this case, I have two participants. So I'm going to do two teams of one. And the two teams I have here, I got the Firestormers and I got the Lava Slingers. Um, so each student is there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this quiz. And I'm going to come over here so you can see what the students see. So we get our question. So, if, and you'll notice we have a timer, so it's seeing how long it's taken us to answer our questions. So I'm going to answer two. And you'll notice that we, our, our monster grew a little bit here. But one thing I want to show is that what happens if you get a wrong answer? So I'm going to go ahead and hit false. It shakes, nothing really happens. But I'm going to go here, get a right answer. But you'll notice right after I do this, I come back to my wrong question. So it's going to have the students keep answering the questions until um, all the answers are correct. So I'm going to go ahead and hit true. But on my other device, I'm going to go ahead, because what I want you to see is what 
does the teacher see? So this is up at the board. So as I'm answering the questions, the teacher sees what's going on. And this is actually a collaborative effort. So um, all the students that are on one team, as they all get it right, is what causes our monster to grow. So we have one more question here on the other device. And we have our monster. So our lava slingers won in this case because they got through with all the right answers first. So I'm going to go ahead and hit review. So we can see here the lava slingers did finish first with all correct answers. But that first time through, though, um, this percentage is the percentage of correct answers the first time through. So we did get a wrong one here. Um, and then our firestormers, though, did get 100%. It just took a little longer to get to all the right answers. So if I go ahead and I can do a class review, and we can actually go over the questions here and what the answers are. But what's nice is on the student device, I also see what's going on. I see the question and the answer, and then even tells the student how many times did you try before you got the right answer. So those right there are the new features in Notebook 16.1.